All I'm going to do today is talk to you about events. Events that have happened and events that are coming and events that people have just dreamed up. This is episode 78 of Syngap 10, your 10-minute weekly briefing on everything you need to know about Syngap 1. This weekend, we had two events, one in Jersey and one in South Carolina. And honestly, the people in, 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 at Syngap Central who were working to support both of them were like, Mike, we should never do that again. And I, I probably take the point. But regardless of that, both events are going to happen again next year because they were such successes this year. It was the first scramble for Syngap in South Carolina. And Julie Miles and Jennifer Robert took this on, made it happen. It was incredibly successful, sold out. All the golf carts were full. They let their community know about Syngap. They got themselves on TV talking about it. They taught their friends and family about Syngap. They, they, they had the Syngap community show up to support them. They raised funds for Syngap and they connect with each other. And they're going to do it again next year. And they're going to probably do it every year because they, they started to build this community around their children and around their families to help them understand and learn about and care about Syngap 1. Incredible work, Jennifer and Julie. And then Nancy Kessler of Karen Lieb. Uh, fame, right? So Karen, we did the movie about Karen, who's 66. Nancy, her sister, hosted the second annual Karen Lieb Gala with the help of her daughter, Lauren Kessler, Singap niece. They threw the second annual gala. And, and Nancy called me. And she said, you know what, Mike? We were debriefing today. She said, "It's that venue's too small. We're, the rate we're going, we're not going to fit next year. Got to find another venue. I said, go for it. Let's do the third annual gala. Let's make it happen. So tremendous work. And I've heard so many pictures and uh, heard so many stories and seen so many pictures. I heard what an incredible job Pavel did talking about the work of SRF. Pavel is a co-chair of our board with Marta. I've heard about Dr. Liz Heller and her talking about her science that, that she's working on up at UPenn with SRF support. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Same thing, right? People in Nancy's circle are learning more about Karen, are learning about Syngap. People are having the chance to support our work. Six Syngapians were in the room meeting each other. Families were seeing other Syngapians. One of the things that warmed my heart the most is there was a recently diagnosed family. And by recently diagnosed, I mean in the past, you know, past year. They rocked up and bought three tables. That's amazing. Right? That's amazing. Can you imagine getting diagnosed with Syngap 1, having a big old family being like, let's go to this event, sitting in the room and seeing six other Syngapians, see, hearing Pavel talk about his millions of dollars of research, hearing Dr. Heller meeting Karen, meeting Nancy. Wow. Wow, we're doing something right. We really are, you guys. We are helping each other figure out this disease and we are building community in the process. People never forget who they meet at these things. They never forget who they meet at these things. And we need this community. We need, we're, we need it badly. We need it to get through today and we really need it to get through tomorrow because all this therapy, all of this research we're doing is going to turn into clinical trials, going to turn into therapies. You think it's complicated now? Buckle up, buttercup. This show's just getting started. And then I get home the other day and I get this beautiful invite, kudos Suzanne, to the um, Syngap Soiree on November 12th in Atlanta. If you're anywhere near Atlanta or if you just like to fly places, you should go to this. Look at that inside of that car. We got sponsors. We got, we got, pre we got presenting platinum, premier, principal, someone likes peas. Amazing. Look at that host committee. And on the back, all these partners staying with the P theme of all these, these people who, who bought a couple tickets and extra. Amazing. I cannot wait to go to this event on November 12th. And once again, have more people learn about our cause, learn about our organization, have the chance to support us, and have more Syngap families meet each other. And then, on December 1st and 2nd, I'm going to fly to Nashville. A lot of flying right now. To go to the, the SRF Science and Medicine Conference on Thursday, December 1st, and then the Family Connection on Friday, December 2nd. We are doing something right, guys. We are connecting families. We are helping people see all the work that is going on. We are helping people realize that they are not alone. And we are laying the foundation for the work to come. I'm going to shut up now and let you hear from Lauren and then Julie about the events they hosted in their own words. I cannot thank them enough for their leadership and their hard work to build this community and help us become stronger and more connected. I am so grateful. And I'll see you in Atlanta and or Nashville.
second annual Karen Leaf Gallon auction was held this past Saturday on October 8th in New Jersey, and it was really a fantastic event. Uh, so many people came from New Jersey, the surrounding states, and people even flew in. Uh, and the night was really about making connections um, on top of raising awareness and ultimately uh, raising money towards grants and finding a cure for SYNGAP1. I think the night was so special for everyone who attended um, among so many families. I believe six SYNGAPians were there, uh, all with smiles on their faces. And it's always a pleasure to see SYNGAPians meet one another, whether it's you know for the first time or the second. Uh, Karen was also in attendance. Um, and I know that she had such a good time. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of being able to sit next to her for the majority of the night and, you know, by just watching her, her smile, her laugh, uh, singing with the band, uh, I know that she really enjoyed herself and I think a lot of other people did as well. Uh, it was also really amazing to see so many families, friends, professionals in the industry uh, really learn each other's stories and strengthen their support networks with one another. Uh, so as a fly on the wall um, and just overhearing bits and pieces of conversation, I think that the night really made an impact on me and I know it's really made an impact on so many other people who were there as well. Uh, we also had two incredible guest speakers, uh, the first being Dr. Heller from the Heller Neuroepigenetics Lab at UPenn. And she gave an amaz amazing uh, presentation about the ever so important work uh, her lab has been doing for SYNGAP1. And then we also had Pavel from SRF, uh, who spoke to how SRF is making strides towards finding a cure. Uh, and I know he truly connected with the audience. Um, he received the whole room's applause after almost every single slide. Uh, but, you know, through the connections, uh, the presentations, the money raised, um, I think this night was transformative for a lot of people. Uh, people connected to SYNGAP1 either directly uh, or indirectly, uh, but I could really sense uh, the morale boost by the end of the night. Uh, but with that being said, uh, there's more work to be done, uh, there's more money to be raised, and more building of this community. So I think that these events are so important and they're also so much fun. You know, it's, it's a night for families and friends to really enjoy each other um, and to make those connections. And personally, I cannot await to attend the next event um, and be inspired all over again. Here is some information about Saturday's event. So it was held at Cherokee Valley Course and Club in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. We started the day with a four-man golf scramble. We had 20 teams. We filled up every single team. We did registration with an SRF tent, which was beautiful. The golfers received a welcome bag, a slam full of items that were donated, as well as information about SYNGAP and SRF. We um, also sold mulligans for $20. We raised almost $1,100 in mulligans, which was all cash. So that was an excellent add-on. We then sent the golfers all out to their golf carts and inside of their golf carts was a box lunch provided by Core 450, which is the on-site restaurant. So that was a really nice touch for the golfers. And we did a little welcome. We thanked our golfers. We said a prayer and the golf pro spoke, gave them the instructions and sent them out. During that time when the golfers were golfing, we set up everything inside of the restaurant for the silent auction. So we had almost 45 items, I believe, that were all donated. And we set all that up during this time and just set up everything outside for the party. Signs were hung. The restaurant prepared, was prepared all the food. So that was done during the hours of 12 and 5. 
We also took um, Miller and Elsie on a cart ride, let them meet a lot of the golfers, took pictures, saw carts, um, hole signs, took pictures in front of hole signs that were donated by a lot of Singat families. So that was a nice touch as well. And then five o'clock started party for Singap, which was our after party for our golfers and the community. Price was $5 in advance to get into this party, $10 at the door. Our golfers head back, came back um, once they finished up. We did announcements for them, gave away first and second, sec first and second prize winners as well as contest winners. We had four different contests at the holes. And so they also got prizes for that. We did a welcome and the party started. We had a band that played. We had an SRF table under a tent with all kinds of information about Singap and SRF again. We had signs everywhere about ways that they could text to donate, scan the QR code to donate, Silent auction was going on inside. Um, the bar was open. The restaurant was open. They were selling food. You could buy food tickets and purchase your meal. Clickbid was a huge, huge success. I cannot tell you how wonderful it was to have Clickbid. People were crowded around the tables watching their bids. That was on pen and paper. It was all done electronically out we only had I think five items that weren't sold and it was a huge success oh we had bounce houses for the kids that was another success that were donated and it was amazing